let's see what we got. This is for November the 6th. What messages do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces? Okay. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, November the 6th, 2018. Messages for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, November 6th. 2018. So let's see what we got. Hmm. Seeing things from a new perspective. Ace of Swords. This can I just put my camera stand. <laughs> Hopefully, this is a new perspective, something new. This is the truth. Whew, shit. So there's conflicts about the truth. Somebody's lying, and you're very much guarded. The truth is going to come out. The truth is going to come out. Hi. Someone could be offering you something or balancing their emotions moving forward because I do see you going within after this tower. The truth is going to come out. I'm sorry. Y'all, throw the pen. I'm writing too much. Y'all, I look so tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. All right, so we got this nine of, uh, nine, of, nine, nine of swords. We got this nine of wands here. Someone's very much on the defense, very defensive. Um, what are you defensive about? Nine of wands defensive about some illusions so there have been some lies told and you're very defensive the truth is out so you're defensive against the lies um feeling imbalanced waiting burdened sorrow shit so you're very much this could be a ooh. some of y'all pregnant some of y'all pregnant and this is not that man child and you know, so you're very defensive about this truth coming out. You feel like it's going to break up your home. And it just may, because I do see two people moving forward. Now, for those of you that are not pregnant, your man got somebody pregnant. Okay? This is someone enlightening, uh, being enlightened about some burdens, about some worries. Very much stressed out. Third party energy here. Third party energy. Three of swords, three of cups. I mean, through a source, Empress. Okay, heartbreak over something new. A little fortune, something changing within a relationship. Why is this tower here? Why is this tower? Ace of Pentacles, Hierophant, Two of Cups. Mm -hmm. Somebody's reevaluating your relationship. Or you're reevaluating your relationship. Someone has made a decision toward something new, toward beginning something new. Maybe trying to find balance. This has to do with a relationship. So someone's trying to find balance moving forward. A decision hasn't been made. Two of swords, two of cups here. Decision hadn't been made about love. Or in the past, a decision wasn't made about love. So someone either moved towards something new. Or there's an opportunity to move towards something new. After this, okay, so yes, there's an opportunity to move towards something new after this tower is being shaken up. Some of you guys are very much guarded about moving towards something new. So listen, even though all this happened, you may can, you know, remedy the situation, we'll see. But a lot of you guys are gonna go within yourself. You're gonna really do some contemplating on, on you're gonna do some contemplating. So we got the Knight of Cups here. Why is this Knight of Cups here? Balancing emotions, moving forward. Someone is retreating. Yep, someone's retreating. They're balancing their emotions. Four of Swords, Hermit, Four. Oh shit! So someone retreat. Someone has retreated. They're guarded because of this truth. Seven of Cups. They're confused as to what to do. They're trying to find their balance. Um, you may be too much in your pride to see that they're trying to find their balance to move forward. They're they're trying to find shit. I don't know if they're trying to find their balance moving forward or they're just moving forward offering. Um, themselves to someone else resisting hmm. 
Hmm. So someone, this person, with the Knight of Cups energy here, the truth set them free. Um, I'm not going to say it's positive nor negative, but I am going to tell you that they're resisting. Um, they feel like this is it's a burden or they feel like it's a codependent situation. They're resisting that and nurturing, and nurturing themselves. So even if that don't, there isn't a baby, because I've seen the Empress with that Three of Swords. Even if there isn't a baby, there are some illusions within this situation that someone's wanting to move from. Move from. They're wanting to clear up their illusions, whether it's you or whether it's someone that you're dealing with. They're wanting to clear up illusions. They're wanting truth, clarity before moving forward. Okay, adjustment. So someone's making some adjustments. Six of Wands, this can be you. Six of Wands, Knight of Swords, adjustments again. This can be you making adjustments moving forward. You're resisting moving forward because you're wanting to adjust the situation. It's your pride that won't allow you to move forward. It's your pride that won't allow you to move forward. You need to reevaluate what you're putting your in energy in. Carefully consider what you're moving toward. Okay, seven of wands. There is maybe you're moving toward this because you're insecure. Um, and not saying that in a negative way, but whatever this truth is, it makes you insecure about moving forward. So we got the four of swords. That means you're probably going to go within yourself, um, retreat, really meditate, contemplate before moving forward. Why is this four of swords here? Eight of pentacles, ten of pentacles. Some of you guys are wanting to the truth of this situation, you're wanting to work on this partnership and put an end to the to the stresses within it and that's the truth but the underlying energy there's delays you need to delay because this even though you want to work out this situation you don't need to work out the situation this situation needs to end ten of swords ten of pentacles Eight of Pentacles. You put a lot of time and effort into the situation. That may be why you're going within yourself because you're afraid to move forward because you've invested so much time into the situation. Um, it's really about honoring yourself. What do you want? This Four of Swords will help you identify what it is that your truths are. So let's pick this up and let's see what guidance we have. Y'all's was a little bit easier than the rest of the um, signs. The rest of the signs are just... I guess the energy of tomorrow is just being really in confusion about what it is, what your truths are. So let's see what guidance we have for my water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Sun, mm. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What other messages do we have? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We got a lot of messages here. All right, so you need to find balance within yourself. Woo, woo. So something is changing within the situation between uh, either a father and a mother, a husband and wife, or sister and a brother, or son and daughter. You need to choose peace and make positive changes toward the situation. Spiritual law of attraction, choose peace. Don't bring drama to the situation. See the other person's point of view, but you need to retreat within yourself. See what's going on at this present moment and balance your career, balance your home, balance yourself, balance everything internally, and free yourself emotionally to feel whatever you really need to feel. Some of you guys are really needing to tap into your truth truth tap into your higher self um and identify like i said what it is that you want because a lot of you guys are holding on to a situation that you really need to gain freedom from this is all i have peace y'all